hello YouTube uh, if you've been following my videos we've gotten this far uh, maybe the only thing I didn't do in your presence was this uh, ladder here but uh, it's pretty much the same as making the purlins or the pre-made any pre-made uh, structures again that's by going to this extended modeling section now today i wanted to touch a little bit on uh uh mm, what is that what is that uh, this this section here so when you go in like uh in this menu here you come to the very bottom this section now basically what this is is uh making weird shapes in beams or plates so we're gonna go to this section and create a plate so corner to corner um, and you can go through these days like all different things can create so we're gonna create a plate uh, corner to corner okay and we've gone through these things before so we'll just leave it at that if you have if uh, you don't know what to, what to do in there go back to the first video and follow along and you get this far so now this bottom section here the yellow this changes uh, this makes changes to plates this middle section and this top one it's uh, beams mostly so let's make some changes to that say I want say my plate that I'm making is irregular so how is it irregular maybe it looks like that okay so please select the plate near the corner so we select that and please select the center of the cup so I will just select the center of the plate but it could be anywhere so select that and radius oh, I'm gonna have to guess this one we're gonna say 10 20 I'll go 20 let's check it out okay so anyway uh, we have our plate with the hole in the middle not what we're going for but yeah it still shows you that uh, what that command does anyway and position everything go back to previous videos if you don't know and this manipulates the circle itself so we can change that radius 10 if we're not happy um, we can change yeah, the positioning and whatnot anyway so that's this bottom section and there's many different things you can do with this one so we can go with the rectangle and say uh, one from there second point the only thing you can snap on right now is uh, the center point that's why i keep going back to the center point but uh, and then you can change that to say 15 and change that to 20 maybe okay so that's our very very special plate and uh the best way to do this is if you draw it out with the polyline uh, the shape of what you want to cut and then you can snap on that when it asks you to snap on stuff so you can try go ahead and check these out and then now I'm going to do a beam I'll draw a beam there and I'll draw another beam from right in the center there come this way and let's see if we have it right well not quite but yeah we'll do it again okay beam
okay so we've gone over the plates now let's check out the beans here uh, we can make copes on beans so we'll go with that and then this pops up and you know the rest uh, what else can we do here we can uh, uh, shorten the bean um, that side and it gives you how much you want to shorten and whatnot uh, what other things you can manipulate the beam in many ways here and uh, there is uh, also this one where it uh, I think this one cuts a notch in the flange so let's check to uh, see again you have to have uh, like a pre-made square so that you have something to snap on but uh, this, uh, there's nothing I can snap on let's see how about yes yeah I guess nearest works okay so that was just to show you what that does so I picked the square to make the hole and let's just take a closer look at it here so that's the square I picked and it just drills a hole right through it and again you can uh, uh, change the properties here uh, you can I think you can have it on one side only like that you see it goes it comes back or not and uh, that's that okay what else can we look at here okay this one cut against object so we have to cut against that one and right click and click that right click so you see now this beam acts like a cutting plane if you use the ob uh, 3D, uh, if you did AutoCAD 3D, you know the slice command, you need the cutting plane. And in this case, we use another object as a cutting plane. So you, s you select that one, and then you select the beam to cut against, and then you select uh, the beam you're cutting, which side you're cutting, whatnot. And that pretty much covers this section uh, these or just remember these orange ones these yellow ones here for plates specifically then this side is for beams uh, uh, we'll be going through all of these uh, uh, one more thing let's see if I've got time for one more thing okay uh, this is a very useful tool here like uh, UCS an object so you can like you can basically place your UCS on an object so we c I click that and I click it on there and I want it there and the UCS comes right on the object it comes very handy later on uh, when you have to uh, determine the direction of detailing and uh, all that fun stuff so that's a very sweet tool there and uh, I haven't gotten to use it on that on that but I'm sure it works the same way and uh, and you see yes here it's easy to manipulate you just click uh, one of these to change the rotation so that's the X, that's the Y axis, that's the Z axis. So pretty straightforward there. And uh, when we come back next time, let's see, we've covered some of those. We've covered advanced uh, copy here, which is most of these. And we could probably cover this one now. Okay, we've covered the uh, create connection template. So this is basically just uh, what it is it's uh, you have a mouse on it it tells you what it does and it's pretty straightforward uh, so we can put like bolts on beam on this one for example uh, plate a long beam uh, and for demonstration purposes we'll click one at random say that one 
uh, okay so we select our B uh, select connecting objects okay so now these are the properties of uh, the bolts we've just collected connected there so we, we pick this one bolts on beam and there we've put the bolts on the beam and you open uh, the advanced uh, properties uh, advanced joint properties and again you can see we can change all that to make it you know uh, different to suit our needs here I put three bolts there I can change the spacing upper flange lower flange I can do all that stuff so that's uh, this section here so and it mostly it's dealing with beams so if you look at the actual picture it gives you like a kind of a brief uh, say headline of what you're going to be doing okay so we've covered most of these but some of them you just have to go in and try them out and then we'll be looking at this one and this one for document creating creating and whatnot but basically you have the basic uh, knowledge of using AutoCAD advanced steel and if there is problems that you have uh, write to me and if I can answer them or answer them and if you have some videos please uh, upload them I don't know everything I intend to know everything and the only way I can do that is learning from some of you guys well thanks again this was a bit longer video but sorry about that